Welcome to Country Car, my name is Tom. Here we have a lovely BMW 1 Series. This is a 116, it's a petrol, manual. It's about 52 miles to the gallon. Obviously it's a three door. It's in stunning condition. It's done just under 39,000 miles. Gorgeous alloy wheels. Give you a walk around, show the general condition of the car and a few of the features. I think my favourite feature of the car is the pillarless doors, which I'll show you. I think it's uh, fantastic, obviously, with a lot of the doors you get the metal that's coming around here, but I think it really uh, makes the car look an extra bit special. We'll have a look in the boots opens with the BMW logo. You can see we've got some all-weather floor mats, parcel shelf, and then these rear seats also fold down, giving you a bigger space in the back if needed. The back seats do have the Isofix, gorgeous two-tone interior. It smells fantastic in here as well, I will say that. I don't think anybody smoked or had any pets in here. In fact, judging by the seats, I don't think anybody sat in the back either. If we have a little sit inside the car, we'll see what's what. So I said it is a manual gearbox. This car's got six gears. A couple of cup holders there. And the various settings for your driving mode. So you've got Sports and Eco Pro. Basically what that means is it gives you a little bit more performance on the Sport or you've got a Comfort mode and an Eco Pro mode. That means that it gives you a readout of the fuel that you're saving. So that's 0, 0.0, obviously we're not moving, so that will uh, rack the miles up to tell you how much fuel. And then just above that you can see the Start Stop. That's telling me that it's not active at the moment reason for that is probably because the engine's cold so if it were to stop itself now then it wouldn't be economical enough for it to start the way it works if you were in neutral with your foot on the brake your clutch out the engine would stop and then as soon as you put your clutch down the engine would start again if you didn't want that function then you can turn it off with that button just there beneath that you've got your start stop button so it is keyless start, so all you need to do is have the key on your person, open the doors, then you can pop the key away, or you can put it just down there, foot on the clutch, hold on to that for a couple of seconds and the engine starts. There's your heating with air conditioning, and your media interface, which is controlled by this unit here. So if we're on the main menu, go into the radio, and we can see we've got digital radio there. On the main menu we've got Bluetooth and then bits and bobs about the car. So if we go into vehicle status, it's got a tire flat monitoring system. It tells you about your oil level and it tells you if anything is due a service. Now with a lot of BMWs, they have a digital service history. In this case, they've loaded it on the key so we can see We've got three service stamps that have been done by BMW. Last one was done at 31,000, so not many miles have been done since then. Centre console with an auxiliary and USB port and a bit of storage there as well. And this limiter here on the multifunctional steering wheel, you can set a top speed. So, if, say for example, 70 miles an hour, you're cautious, you don't want to go over that. You set it to 70 using the blue, uh, sorry, the green dial there, and then the car won't go over 70 miles an hour until you turn it back off again. On the other side, we've got your volume, your mode, which will switch it from radio to auxiliary. We've got automatic windscreen wipers. So just pop that on and then it will sort itself out and then we have a sensitivity level just there. Automatic headlights, pop it to auto, all you have to do is worry about the main beams, front and rear fog lights, 
electric windows. It's all just very user friendly, very easy, very comfortable, very luxurious. Exactly the way that you would expect your BMW to be. The seats are in very good condition. You tend to find people use this area to sort of slide out the car and it can wear down. I can honestly say that hasn't happened here. So if we have a look under the bonnet, we can see that it says two times. That means when you pop it once, there's sometimes a safety catch under the bonnet. In this case, it's just here. So you pull it again, that releases the safety catch. So it's confirming that you definitely want to open the bonnet. So a little bit about us, when the car came in, we did a 160 point inspection. Get the car on the ramp, we take the wheels off, we take photographs of the brakes and the discs. It's also videoed, check the health of the car underneath, inside and out. Then it comes here, I do the photos, there's a full readout of the spec underneath the photos. Then after sale it goes back, we do the inspection again. If there's an MOT due, it's a third party company that does that for us. Which from your point of view is good, it's an extra pair of hands to scrutinise the car, making sure you get the best of the best. We give you three months for a thousand mile full parts and labour warranty. That's a standard. Now you can extend that up to four years, 300 or 500 pounds a year, depending on the level of cover you wish to take out. If you'd like finance, give us a call. We've got very competitive rates. We've got a pile exchange. Let's have a look. We'll do our best for you. Our number is 01926 267813. We're located in Barford, CV358 DS. As I said, my name's Tom. My father's called Kevin. He's the other salesman. If this car does fit the bit for, for you, give us a call. Thank you.